Yo, Zeb. What's for lunch? Some mother French toast. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm a private chef. Cook for money, yeah. Guys, welcome back to What's for Lunch. Today, Zeb Powell's in the kitchen. Zeb, thanks for coming by, dude. Thanks for having me, man. All right, so it's not lunch. We're doing brunch. We just cooked, uh, you're with like 10, 11 professional snowboarders on yeah. sliding tour right now. So they just stopped by the office. We had breakfast, and now we're gonna go through what we just ate. So we're making French toast. What do you say, should we get after it? Yes, we should. All right, let's do it. I'm gonna put you to work a little bit here, Zeb. So we have some bread, some challah bread. This is perfect for French toast. You want day old bread. You want it dry because when we put it in the, the custard that we're about to make, you want it to soak that all in. That's so you get the biggest, fluffiest pieces. So if you want to slice like maybe like an inch inch uh, thick and I'll get started on the batter here. Well, no, 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 no. We're going this way. We're going this way. I was way. like, we're what? We're going this way. All right, I'll, I'll start That sounds crazy already. We're going, we're going like this. <laughs> we're going slices, so. Boom, just like that. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. I'm glad you asked. That's good. So we're to start. <laughs> this we're making, I have some egg yolks and a little bit of heavy cream, a little bit of whole milk. But usually it's just eggs and a couple egg yolks. You double it up. So French toast is really easy, honestly. You're not doing much. Those look great. That's they perfect. They look like clouds. Yeah, they do. That's, that's, that's my nice. It's a nice soft bread. You want to use like challah's really good or a, a brioche, something a little sweeter. French toast is honestly more of a dessert than a than a breakfast. It's, yeah. it's, it, it's sugar and, and eggs and milk. And then uh, you want to throw some vanilla extract in there, just like a dash. My mom does that. Okay, right. You use the cap. I have a cap. Like that. Let's do two caps then. That's, two caps. Yeah, two caps. Two caps. No cap. Perfect. All right. Now let's get a whisk. All right, coming in hot. Ready? Yep. Bang. Boom. Get that all whisked together. Get that up. So you're on the road most, you don't even have a home, right? I literally don't have a home. So you're right not now. cooking, I was gonna ask, you cook a lot, but without a home, it might be uh, tough. Actually, I love to cook, but I really haven't got to cook a lot or like, you know, do it. I've been on the road for like two years straight. Two years? Yeah. What's the longest you're in one spot? Three weeks. Three weeks? All right. Like, is that like Airbnb hotel or is that living out of like the RV or how's it, how's it break down? That's like when I have nothing going on and I like need to chill and reset. Like I try to stay either at my friend's house for three weeks or at my at my parents, go see my parents for a second. Okay. And that's when you get a chance to cook every now and then? Yeah, I try to cook with my parents. I feel like I need to like be at my own house, like that helps. owning it. Having a house yeah. in a kitchen does yeah. help with uh, with being able to cook. Well, what's your go-to if you're gonna cook something? Like, what, where, where are you leaning towards? I mean, I actually love breakfast food, so we're, we're actually Perfect. doing it right now. Dude, breakfast is the best way to learn how to cook because uh, it's like the same principles of cooking, but you're dealing with things like, if you fuck up a piece of French toast, you can throw it away, you restart, yeah. you, you fuck up a nice steak, it's a little that's, bit more expensive. So yeah. I, that's how I learned how to cook just by starting a breakfast. Honestly, French toast is one of the first things I, uh, I learned how to cook myself. So it's a good place to start. So all we do here is you get that bread nice and soaked and the stale bread, like I said, it absorbs that a lot better. You know what, let's throw some cinnamon in there. We just dashing this in here, what's good? Just, yeah, that looks about right. That's kind of mostly what cooking is. You just look and see and- uh, yeah, eyeball yeah. it. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, look at that, looks good. Cause you're on the road all the time. How's the, what's the diet like? It's all over the place. Cause like I get up to go snowboard and like usually you're like out the house pretty fast. So it's really all over the place. Sometimes I'll have nice breakfast. Sometimes I'll just have like a granola bar and a banana. I was cooking for you out at uh, X Games, which congratulations by the way. Thank you. Nice thank job, you. dude. That was fun to watch. Yeah, and you have, awesome. after you got the medal, we had a nice dinner out. So you get those like nice Aspen dinners sometimes. And yeah. then I guess the granola bars kind of come, but I feel like you're used to as a snowboarder, you just eating whatever you can, especially in the early days. Straight up, yeah. All right, let's get this going. You know what we're gonna do? You wanna make whipped cream? You like whipped cream on French toast? Yeah, right, we're, making whipped fresh, whipped we're making fresh whipped cream. Do you have a favorite mountain? Everyone trips out on this, but this is a little place called Loon. Okay. In New Hampshire, if the weather is good, it's the best place on earth, I think. Really? Are you biased towards the East Coast? Because that's where you like. You started out in Vermont, right? I'm from North Carolina, but I moved to Vermont and like put in like seven to eight years there, so it's like my second home. Okay. All right, we'll get this chatter in the way. Where do you fall on the East Coast versus West Coast debate? Like, are, are you East Coast? I think East Coast breeds harder riders. Because yeah. we, it's, we call it the Ice Coast, not the East Coast. I like that. <laughs> so you said breakfast is your favorite. Do you have like a go-to breakfast? Are you an eggs guy? you like French toast? you go sweet or savory? Uh, I want to say I like both. I'll do both. Do mimosas, like the whole thing. I like the mimosas. Yards. That's yeah. it. The next time you're here, we'll have to, we'll have to get those going. Um, I think that's the dream breakfast, you know. Just, just like, mimosas? Oh, fruit too. Oh, <laughs> just, just mimosas. <laughs> that's my dream <laughs> breakfast right there. Um, all right, so whipped cream, it's super easy. It's heavy cream. A little bit of sugar and then some more vanilla. We're gonna put it on high. And that's just gonna go. Damn. So we're talking heavy cream, heavy cream, sugar, and vanilla. That's it. That's all you need. What? Now I know. Right, let's check on these. Nice. Look at that color we're getting there. Woohoo! And look how nice and fluffy you got. We got these. Yep. 
They're That's looking like good. real clouds now. That's gonna be good. We'll be good to go. You done any snowboarding abroad? You gone to Japan or anything like that? I just came back from Japan. Oh That's, shit. That's why I went right after X Games. No way. Yeah. How was that? It was insane. It was the first time out there? Yeah, Dude, first time crazy. out there. That's like the land of powder. Yeah, people that's say, what I was people saying, say yeah. Japan. Is it actually that much different? Does it feel like it's it a lighter snow? Yeah, it's, it's actually lighter snow, and it's just they have so much of it. We were there on a bad year, and we were all tripping. Like, we were like, yeah. this is insane. I gotta get out there. See, yeah. look, we're already looking at that. That is whipped for sure. I mean, and that's all it took. We have whipped cream. Let's give that a try here. Let's see, what, see how that tastes. Put your finger on that. Just lick it. I, I licked it. It's yeah. pretty good. Lick it, lick it, lick it. <laughs> I licked it. Lick it. We don't need to whip anymore. Damn. It's that easy. It's that easy, dude. That's I actually it. did not know that. That's it. Just cream and uh, no, cream and sugar. And then these are going to be done in a second here, and we'll plate it up. How long are you in Japan? We're there for like a week and a half. What do you think of the food? So good. 7 Eleven, they're Dude, crazy. Right? How with those so little ham crazy. sandwiches you get from 7 yeah. Eleven? Like the, the rice. Best. The rice. Oh, cakes. yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's plate this up. What do you say? I like it this thick because it's still jiggly, kind of like custardy in the middle. So you get that. Damn, it really got the shape. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's damn. Damn. We're going with the whipped cream. Of course, we have some maple syrup, but we need a little powdered sugar. So the maple syrup is not, uh, it's not Vermont maple syrup. I, I was looking for some, but Wisconsin makes pretty good maple I syrup. Oh, I actually, so I had, to, I had to go with the, I had to go with the Wisconsin. I'm sorry about that. I was looking for Vermont. I was trying, I was trying. It's all good. And there we go. We have our, our French toast. <laughs> Dude, I'm about to just drench this. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> there we go. Boom. Fire. Boom. Do you see the jiggle on that? Like, come on. I actually don't think I've ever seen that. That's a fucking signature. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Thank you, Zeb. Yeah, no worries. Appreciate it, dude. Thanks for coming by. Thanks for having me. That was awesome. All right, Zeb. There's your fork. Dive in. I'm a skier. I don't snowboard at all, but I'll give it a shot. You gotta teach me. I gotta go out with you for the first time. We'll get you snowboarding. Let's don't do don't worry about that. Let's do it. Mmm. Damn. I fucked up. I think that's actually the best French toast I've ever had. Dude, <laughs> thank you so much, that's man. Up. I appreciate it, guys. That's gonna do it for what's for lunch. Zeb, thanks for coming by. See you guys next time. Peace. Peace. Take this home.